A lot of people have been asking a lot of questions about what's going on with the Golf and this video today is going to be explaining what's happened to my Golf. Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So as you've just seen from that little snippet of the intro there, today's video is going to be talking about what's happened to the Golf. Some of you, if you're on the Facebook group or if you follow my social media, and if you don't, follow it here. I've seen that I've been selling parts from the Golf have been very mysterious on Instagram. People have been asking me, sending me messages, what's going on with the Golf, why are you selling this, why are you selling that? There's been some brilliant comments about it and I'll see if I can pop some uh, on the screen here because uh, one of them got that out of hand that the whole thread had to be deleted so I could sell my, my parts. But people have been saying, Josh, you went out in a stage 3 car and then a week later you're selling your parts on your car, what's going on, are you going stage 2? A lot of people thought stage 2, some people thought stage 3, some people thought I was changing car, some people thought something magical was going to happen with the Golf, whether it was a wrap, new wheels, bonnet, I don't know, but everyone was questioning things. Like I say, this video today is going to be explaining what's going on with it, we're going to take a look outside, we're going to go and have a look, I'm going to let you guys know exactly what's happened, and then we'll, we'll talk about what's going to happen with the future, in terms of the car and, and everything like that, so let's go outside. So just before we go outside, um, I just want to say apologies if the footage outside isn't as good as it in here, purely because it's June here in the UK as it is everywhere in the world mostly, and it's raining, it's rained a lot over this last week, it's ridiculous, we've had no sun for a good two or three weeks now, and when I came outside it was only spitting so the footage wouldn't be that bad, however, it's got, it's, since I've been filming this video it's got incredibly dark, so it might be raining a little bit more, so just bear that in mind when we'll go out, but I'm going to shut up talking now and you're going to see what's happened to the car. Right, so just as I mentioned, it is raining a little bit, um, it's not great weather outside, but I'm just going to show you what's, what the hell? That wasn't there the last time I came out here. I don't know what this is, and I don't know why it's here, but this was supposed to be a video of the Golf. What's it doing? I don't, I'm not quite sure why it's there, but I'm going to get into it. I just so happen to have some keys on me, um, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. So as you can see, and as some of you correctly guessed, I have not got the Golf anymore. This isn't a second car, the Golf is not here anymore. Um, I have bought a Toyota GT86. Now to be fair to you, with some of the people that did guess, you guessed completely wrong. Um, I didn't think that I'd end up in one of these cars, and that's by no means saying they're a bad car because they're not, and I'll come on to that in a second, but the Golf is no more. So we're going to go out for a quick drive in the GT86, I'm going to explain why I've got rid of the Golf and why I chose the GT86. There will be a full video outlining why I chose this car specifically, not this car as in like this exact car, but this sort of model and make and, and things like that. So I've got reasons um, and you will find them out soon. So let's go. So we're just going to do a quick drive in the car just while I speak, I needed to take it out because I haven't taken it out all week and if you're anything like myself I really like taking out a new car, uh, just driving it around, getting used to it, getting used to the feel, in this case especially considering I've come from a 2 litre automatic four wheel drive car to a back to basics rear wheel drive, again a 2 litre car but it's a lot lighter. So I'm going to just talk through some reasonings as to why I decided to get rid of the Golf and why I decided on the GT86. So, the reason why I wanted to get rid of the Golf, um, first and foremost, is it was costing me a lot of money. I'm not one of these people where I'm going to say that I bought the car cash because I didn't, I financed it. Um, and considering what I wanted to do in terms of life in general and the YouTube channel, the car was costing me a lot of money to, to sort of have in general. Um, so part of the reason was to get a cheaper car that I could do more stuff with and I can also have a bit of money left over at the end of the month, and I do anyway, but have a bit of money left over at the end of the month to invest into the YouTube channel, be it places to go, things to do, things to do to the car, extra hardware in terms of GoPros, cameras, um, editing software, computer bits, because a lot of people don't realise, but you've got to have all of that as well as a car and um, a voice to be able to do YouTube, you know, you need a good camera or 
um, like Ricky from Living Life Fast. I know obviously he's been talked about quite a lot recently due to his BMW, but he, he me and him were speaking and he said he had seven or eight GoPros. I only have one. Um, so when you're looking at the videos, you know, if I move the camera around, it's me moving the GoPro rather than having multiple of them. So that aside, so why did I get rid of the Golf? Reason number two is I felt, and I don't know how you guys are going to feel about this, me saying this, but I felt like the Golf was almost desensitizing me from driving. I enjoy driving. If you don't know, I used to be a supercar instructor for a company called Everyman Racing. Uh, they're the company where you pay 250 quid to go drive five supercars around the track um, and I'll be the person sat next to you telling you where to go, what to do, when to put power on and all that sort of stuff. I enjoy driving and you enjoy the raw feel of a car. The Golf didn't have that. It's not one of its qualities. It's not an upside or a downside to the car. Um, it's just I felt like it was desensitizing me a little bit and I wanted a car that I felt like I had to drive to get the most out of it. I guess you can launch control the Golf as many times as you want but at the end of the day it doesn't really take much skill to drive and even Shaq said that in the video and that's not saying the people who drive the Golf don't have skill I'm not saying that whatsoever so I enjoy having a car that I need to drive properly so there's that in there as well a um, couple of little other, other sort of tip bits is the tuning parts of the Golf are quite expensive analytics tell me that you guys like seeing things being done to a car some of the best videos I've got, or some of the best performing videos in terms of watch length and all that sort of stuff, is when I go and get stuff done to my car or when I get new things for the car. I was struggling to do it with the Golf, um, so there's that in there as well. So without rambling on too much about why I got rid of the Golf, I'm going to tell you why I chose the GT86. So when I was originally looking for a car, and this was quite a few weeks ago, I had to keep it quiet, just in general, because I wanted to keep it a bit of a surprise. But the GT86 has always been on my radar. It's always been on my radar of a car that I wanted to own at some point. Um, I just didn't know when, I didn't know why, and I just didn't realize that it would be so soon. But I went out to go and drive this car, and it surprised me. It's, it is a small car, but it just played into every little thing that I wanted about a car, in terms of you need to drive it hard and at 10 tenths to get the most out of it. It's a revy little engine, it revs to nearly 8,000 RPM, it's rear wheel drive, it's raining now, it's a lot of fun to drive, and, you know, I've never had as much fun in a car for a long time, um, and that's before the Golf as well. And the aftermarket, or the modification, sort of scene around it, is ginormous. You know, I don't see many of these here in the UK, there might be more knocking about than what I think, but over in the, the US, these cars are incredibly popular because you've got the BRZ, you've got the GT86, and you've got the Scion FRS as well. So companies are bringing out parts for one car, but they can be applicable to all of them. And that's another reason why I got it. So what is going to happen with this car and with the channel? The channel's not going to change. The channel will still feature the same stuff, car reviews, product reviews, things I do to this GT86, the places that I go, the events that I go and see, and that, that sort of formula is going to stick. You know, I've noticed the YouTube channel is growing a little bit, so I wanted to invest a little bit more money in it, and that's why I'm coming back to that point, because I feel like I need to, and yes, it's all right saying, you know, the channel's doing well, but I want it to grow, I want to do more things. The extra money that I'll get from not having the Golf, just to give you an idea, it's probably half the cost of it, will we'll bode well for, for things like that. With the GT86, and I've opened the window because it's getting a bit steamy in here, so sorry if you can hear a lot from outside, but with the GT86, it's not the fastest car, I'll be the first to admit it. I'm not going to be going gapping anybody, although I did have a close call with the GTD, and that makes me laugh a little bit because, you know, the Golf could take on a lot faster things. But the GT86 isn't fast, it's a fun little car, uh, the back end has come out spontaneously sometimes, which is why I'm probably going to get new wheels and wider tyres just to stop that from happening. I don't want to end up reverse and facing into a bush. But I wanted to let you guys know, I wanted to keep it a bit of a secret. And some of you might not like it, some of you might unsubscribe from me, and I hope you don't because the whole formula of the channel and me, I'm not going to change, the channel's not going to change. It's just the car that's changed. I've got a lot of plans for this. There's a lot of things you can do to it. Obviously, they're naturally aspirated. You can go down the forced induction route, whether it be turbocharger or supercharger, which I'm thinking about. Not right now, but in the future. 
Um, I'd like to do some more track work. I didn't really want to take the Golf on track because it's an expensive car and if something's happened to it, I haven't got a replacement for it. I don't have a second car. I don't have a daily or anything like that. Whatever car I'm driving is my daily. I also want to dabble a little bit in some drifting and I don't know how that's going to work or if it's going to work at all but I'm going to start looking into stuff like that because I've always been interested in it, I always watch the D1 GP, I always watch the BDC you know, I know a couple of people who, uh, who were actually in that sport as well so it should be interesting to see how or if it can actually happen but yeah so I've got a GT86, the Golf is now gone um, majority of the parts I had for the Golf have gone as well the wheels have stayed on the car, they've stayed with the car I didn't want to take them off because I sold the Cadiz wheels the JB4 has just been sold tonight uh, a couple of days before this video is due to go out uh, the intake hose, the air, the air tech elbow, that's all gone the only thing I have left is a Turbo Smart VR1 diverter valve and if you're looking for it, hit me up because it's still available and it's a lot cheaper than what it is if you're going to get it from a shop if you like this video and you want to stick around, subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop me a comment down below letting me know what your thoughts are. And until next time, I'll see you then.